it is time to build a console replacement PC for about $450 and this is a boring intro. That was great, wasn't it? Terrible. Well, you already should have an intro from the rationale video. You don't it, get two. Yeah, you, you don't get two. This is, we're just going to build a computer in this video. If you have not seen our reasons why you should switch over from console to PC, well, you need to go back and watch that video because there's a lot of interesting information in there. Even if you're already a PC gamer, you'll probably have a lot of fun just watching it, laughing and talking about it in the comments. We all like to talk about that kind of stuff. It's just the nature of it. And if you're someone who's here to hate on me... So be it. Now, for 450 bucks. Uh, you can build a computer that's not going to max out every game, but it will let you play a lot of the games, and it'll get you over to the PC. Not even really $450. Yeah, a little bit less. We can go lower than $450. $450 with enough components and enough power to allow you to add a graphics card sometime in the future without upgrading your power supply. So let's get started first with the CPU. We're going to use the AMD A10 6800K. It's an APU, meaning that there is a, uh, there's a GPU and a CPU put into one chip, and it all shares the system memory. Now you're going to want fast memory because a graphics card like this has stupid fast memory. We're talking like effectively five, six thousand megahertz. Now your you know memory inside your computer generally is thirteen thirty three megahertz or sixteen hundred megahertz if you have a decent machine. Well, this one we can get twenty four hundred megahertz memory and we can put it in there and it will work and it'll actually improve your frame rate because lots of frames, the frame buffer and like all the different stuff that's going on, the textures and everything, they need that memory. And if it's slow, well, everything's going to be slow to your computer. So having fast system memory for the integrated graphics card to share. So we're going to go that. with 1866 uh, megahertz memory. Uh, this is PNY. It's 8 gigabytes. You have two sticks of four. Uh, for the motherboard, we're going to use the Acer's FM2A85M Pro. It's got everything you need. Small. It's just a reliable motherboard, and that's the main thing here. You want something that's going to you know, be reliable. It's got a ton of features. We've got six, six gigabits per second SATA ports. So it's Gen 3. It's I mean, very compatible with a lot of different kinds of memory. Yeah, that's one thing that's really nice. You can put just about any memory in there. Uh, up to 2400 megahertz. We had some ADATA memory running at 2600 megahertz. Barely. But we did. We did, took it down to 24 <laughs> and it worked just fine. It, it was so. somewhere between 24 and 26. We just messed with the timings to get that. And, yeah. and the front side bus, dot, 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 question mark. <laughs> For the um, storage, we're just going to use a Western Digital Caviar Blue. It's a 1 terabyte, 7200 RPM hard drive. And uh, these things are going for around 60 bucks right now, which is stupid cheap. I know you can get like a 500 gigabyte hard drive for like 15 bucks less. But it's only $15. $15 to double your capacity. I mean, like you guys are going to be downloading games and God knows what, you sick people. So you're going to want a little bit more hard drive space. Power supply, uh, Antec Basic, 430 watt, 80 plus certified it's very important that you get an 80 plus certified power supply. Yeah, they're like 43 bucks. If you want to cheap out, you can find like $30 power supplies and um, just make sure that they're 80 plus. You can even find some $30 power supplies that are um, that are 80 plus. They're usually like a mail in rebate situation. That's why I didn't recommend them because some people don't like jumping through hoops to get 50 bucks back in the mail. And this particular power supply will let you upgrade to a dedicated GPU later. Yes, it will, because this system only draws, like, what, 100 and 150 watts of power at any given point? Yeah, when we were testing it, it was, like, 158 watts max. <laughs> Which is nothing. You need 900 watts. No. <laughs> Are you running a, a dual Xeon server? Maybe. <laughs> but, no, you don't need 900 watts of power. Um, you're also going to need something to... Well, I, mean, I don't think people need these anymore. I, I don't need a, a, a CD-ROM drive, but if you need a CD-ROM drive, you could just grab, like... NLG GH24N S95 1599. Um, there's several different options out there. You can grab a Lidon or an Asus or a Samsung or LG, whatever. Just I've I use it like once to install the OS back in the day, but now I just use a flash drive to install the OS. So what do people need? I don't know. I always complain. <laughs> about optical the media optical, is optical. dead. Yeah, it's dead. You're gonna need a house for all this. So let's get a Fractal Design Core 1000 USB 3. It's small. It's not the quietest uh, case in the world, but it's 29 bucks and it's solid as hell, and it has USB 3. It's well designed and well laid out. Very well laid out. It's got that Scandinavian design going on. I do like Fractal Design cases, and I don't know of anything better for the money at all off the top of my head. Um, you can see the NZXT Source 210 out there, uh, but I believe the one that's on sale for around the same price does not have USB 3, unless there's the newer version that has USB 3 on sale as well, but I didn't see any currently. 
the nice thing about the Core 1000 is that it's very compact as well. But it gives you, you know, you've got three hard drive bays um, on the side. It feels and, roomy inside. Yeah, we, we play around with this thing a lot. I'm probably going to be using something about that size for my next home PC build. Now, like I said, you guys should watch um, all the other videos. One thing that you really, really should watch is our video where we test different RAM speeds with this CPU to see how much faster the gameplay is. Now, 1866 is decent, but if you have a little bit more money, the first thing I would do uh, would be to grab some faster RAM, like we have this 888 DDR3 2600. Uh, this one's a bit pricey for a system in this price range, uh, but you can get like for 100 bucks. You can get, it made an incredible difference. Yeah. Like 100 bucks, you can add like 10 to 15 frames per second into your games. You can get the 2400 version for a little less. That's what I would probably do with this, um, this system. So there you have it. If you guys have questions, check out the forum. Be sure to watch the other videos. And um, if you have 600 bucks to spend, well, we can go quite a bit faster. So watch that video as well. See you next time.